Welcome to Econochat Let's Talk Business with Mr. Daniel Steinman and myself, Elsa Bidiwinyani, as your hostess for today as per the other days. Today we are talking about uh, the mid-year budget review. Uh, but before we get into that, welcome to all the listeners and of course welcome to Mr. Daniel Steinman. Thank you, Elsa B. Mr. Daniel Steinman, mid-year budget review. Uh, there might be, uh, you know, people out there not knowing why do we have a mid-year budget review? Why is it important, and why is it tabled? Like, why is it such an important uh, um, review to look at? Or why must we sit and watch TV and listen to what the finance minister has to say? Also, me. Before I say anything, I want to I want to tell you a little anecdote. Mm. Last week, you asked me how I'm doing, yeah, and I said smashing. Yeah. You will not believe how many people picked up on that one. Don't say. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and they confronted me, and some of them actually teasing me. <laughs> Are you smashing? <laughs> so it was. It was. It was actually quite. Um, Enjoyable. Yeah, it was. And also knowing that people are actually listening. There's a lot of people yes, listening. Yes, yes. And not just youngsters. Yeah. Big people. Yeah. You know, so, uh, yeah, no, I, I was quite amazed. Okay, if you ask me about what is the importance of the mid-year review, mm. as always, we need to revisit the history mm. to understand where we come from. Yeah. And I'm going to make it very brief otherwise it gets very boring but I need to take you back to 1996 mm. where <clears throat> for the very first time in our history and remember we were only about six years old then as an independent Namibia but we had sort of cushy budgets before that you know they were sort of comfortable mm. you there was enough money to um, cover the expenses and the shortfall was um, was very modest and mm. in some years there was a surplus yeah i don't think we've seen a surplus for the last 20 years mm. but never mind so what happened in 1996 is that um, for the first time we were confronted with a budget deficit 6.2 mm. percent of expenditure and um this came as a bit of a shock it always it also led to the almost overnight resignation of a of the then Minister of Finance, uh, which was amusing because it was also something that was unknown in our local political scene, you know. But when you are confronted with something like that, suddenly, and remember when you talk budget money, you're talking billions. Yeah. You're not just talking a million here, a million there. Uh, a million here and a million there is what is what um, Skellum politicians steal. It, uh, when we talk uh, the national <laughs> finances of the country, uh. we're talking in hundreds of billions. Mm. Really big money. Yeah. So it's very important what we do with that. Mm. Because if it goes well, it goes well over the top. Mm. But if it goes bad it goes really bad very yeah you see this mm. is this is the whole thing that that one must never forget with public finances you're talking about really big amounts of money mm. so then we realized yeah our whole budget approach was primitive mm. you we, we we need a level of sophistication mm which we neither had the manpower nor the structures uh, I mean we didn't have statistics then. Mm. We, the, the statistics were were preliminary and they were just superficial you know, yeah very 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 sort of um, bird's eye view type of statistics we we didn't know what was going on there in the boiler in the kitchen mm. um, so here comes the the results of the previous fiscal year and suddenly we see there's this massive deficit now what happens and this is logic anybody can figure it out if there's a deficit you need to finance it mm. how do you finance it you sell government debt mm. in the form of government bonds mm. or mm. treasury bills mm. huh? which is what we call the capital market and if it is shorter duration we refer to it as the money market these mm. are these are words that that we mostly hear 
not always knowing what they mean, but it's not very important. The, the important thing is that a government has the ability to sell its debt, yeah. to cover its expenses. Mm -hmm. Because, very important, uh, you are aware of, in the last two weeks, this big hoo-ha in the American Senate that there was this talk of shutting down the government, government because yeah. there is no budget. Mm. You know, it's all nonsense, but that's typical American <laughs> politics because I think we've heard that the American government will be shut down about 15 times out of the last five years. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, in my mind, it's a bit of a standing yeah, joke. Yeah, it is. But what it, what it comes down to is that we came to a point in our, in our budget history where we realized we need a new framework. Yeah. And this is what I want to talk about when we come back, is what did we do? It took about seven years before we got that new framework, mm -hmm. but eventually we did. Mm -hmm. And where we are today mm -hmm. is 20 years after the uh, adoption of the new framework, mm -hmm. and we see the very solid results now. Mm. Okay, so let's quickly go for that short break. And once we come back, we will continue Mid-Year Budget Review.